Welcome back to Equation of the Week. I'm Professor Stan Zygmunt from the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Valparaiso University. And the Equation of the Week is the formula for relativistic kinetic energy. Now, every student of physics knows that kinetic energy for an object with mass m moving at speed v is given by 1 half mv squared. But is that really correct in all situations? In 1905, Einstein's special theory of relativity showed us that we had to think about measurements of space and time very differently. And one of the consequences was coming up with new formulas for momentum and for energy. The relativistic kinetic energy equation is actually given by this rather complicated formula, where gamma, the term in the brackets, depends on the speed of the object as well as the constant value of the speed of light. Now one of the interesting things that you can show, and I have my students do this, is that if the speed of the object is very small compared to the speed of light, this formula is approximately the same as 1 half mv squared. So as long as objects aren't moving very fast, we can use 1 half mv squared for their kinetic energy and the law of conservation of energy holds. But for high speed objects, we have to use the kinetic energy dictated by the theory of relativity. This has been Equation of the Week.